Zod is an incredible validation library for TypeScript. You give it an object with whatever the hell in it, and Zod helps you make sure the object has whatever the hell you expect. So a basic example, we create a schema in z.string, and we pass it in the thought parse function tuna. And that now validates that tuna is indeed a string. If we pass something else like 12, it's gonna throw an error. Super useful because now it can guarantee whatever we did here is real and valid. And if we use safe parse, it won't throw an error, but it has a success Boolean value and then data or error, depending on if it's true or false, which makes it trivial to parse something and know that that thing is valid. So if you create a user validator object, which is a z.object, it takes in a username, which is a z.string. You can now user.parse an object, and this will throw if it's not a valid object. All the different things you might validate, like that a string is minimum five characters, maximum whatever, a specific length, that it's an email, it's a UUID, it's a CUID, that it matches a specific regex, that it ends with a specific string, that you've trimmed the white space from it and it's good, that it's a date time or not a date time. All the things you might want to check on a random pile of data, the goal of Zod is to guarantee that your expectations of how this thing is shaped are true. Sound familiar? Kind of sounds like TypeScript. The thing about TypeScript is it's not a guarantee. TypeScript doesn't run on, it, it doesn't run. TypeScript code becomes JavaScript code before it runs. So any type enforcement you do in TypeScript gets lost after it's been compiled. So if you have a function that you enforce, this takes in a user and a user has a username. You compile that TypeScript and someone calls that function where username's a number instead of a string, your code's gonna bomb and do a bunch of things it's not supposed to because the TypeScript can only check what exists within the TypeScript system at compilation time. It has no idea what happens past there. The value of Zod is that you can guarantee that the thing being passed is the thing being passed. This is great for everything from parsing requests to validating data put into forms to validating data from arbitrary APIs that you're concerned might not be in the right shape. The other benefit is the types that get generated when you run validation are really good. Let's say we have const sum input equals username, hello, age 17. And we want to be sure when we process this, that that input is valid. We might have a schema or a input schema equals z.object. And this has username, z.string, and it has age. Don't need to put a min on that. I'll do a min of one for now. Now we have this input schema. Now you can do const parse input equals input unknown. So at this point, we're assuming we don't know what this input is. This could come from an API, it's come from anything in the world, and we want to do something with it. We can return input schema.parse. And now when we call this, if I have const parsed equals parse input, some input, we now know the type of this here, because this will throw if that type isn't valid, which is magical. The power of that to guarantee that this is the right shape and to process this correctly is super cool. Where it gets way cooler though, we have this dot min here. Let's say we want to throw a custom error if you're not 18. What I can do here, oh, look at that. Copilot's doing its thing. I'll put an extra quote at the end, that's fine. So now if you're not 18, when you pass this in, you're gonna get an error. You must be 18 or older to use the app. So this will throw an error when you call it if the input age is less than 18. That is so powerful. In the type definition, you'll notice here, I haven't written any type definitions in this file other than colon unknown. Nothing else in here is a type definition. I can delete this. Well, I guess I have to leave the unknown because I don't know, but I can delete that, delete this, pass empty object here. And this is still valid code. This is gonna throw in production, but it's gonna throw an error that we don't have a username that's a string. Super powerful. You get types out of it as a result. Just by returning something parsed, it now becomes typed. So I have like const untyped equals unknown. This unknown thing is unknown, but then when I pass it through here, we now know the type. 
because this will throw otherwise. This would basically be the equivalent of typing like if untyped fuck. if no untyped dot username or no or untyped dot user or type of untyped dot user name is not equal to string or no untyped is it going to autocomplete that for me i was starting to yeah it's mad because it's unknown But this is basically what Zod does for us. It writes a bunch of checks that check if the thing, like like each subfield exists. So I can do if no untyped or. It doesn't know these exist So because TypeScript is TypeScript. But the point of this here is that you'd normally write a shitload of code to validate all the stuff I did here. And the type definitions that come out of this are significantly better. But what about Yup? But what about Joy? But what about all these other solutions? None of them know how TypeScript works. The value of Zod is how well it understands the things on both sides of it. It's taking in invalid data, or data that it hasn't been validated, and returning you validated data. It's a very simple package that does that piece incredibly well, has awesome primitives for everything from URLs to enums, and it hooks up to all sorts of things like form libraries, like React Hook Form, or directly to TRPC. In fact, the creator of Zod, Colin, actually started TRPC originally because he saw the opportunity using what he learned through Zod to make API definitions and iteration simpler. It's that deep understanding of TypeScript and type safety that makes Zod and TRPC both so powerful I feel like I haven't given Zod enough credit for the importance that it represents as a package. The ability to write a validator one time in one place and then import that on the back end to validate a request and on the front end to validate a form with the exact same errors in both is like mind bogglingly cool. And it has made my life building full stack web applications significantly better. If for some reason you haven't already checked out Zod, please do. It's one of those essential packages that I just, I can't live without. The web is inherently unsafe. You can never truly guarantee that an input is the shape that you expect. And something like Zod helps you smooth out those rough edges and have a safe experience, both in the type sense and in the runtime sense. Please check it out if you haven't. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment below if you're letting me know how you feel about Zod and validation in general. YouTube thinks you're gonna like whatever videos appear in there. So give that a watch too. Thank you for the time. Good seeing you nerds. Peace.